Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. Welcome to the stream. It's me, Decaf Jedi, BMX legend, zombie aficionado, here once again with our old favorite, The Walking Dead Season 1, the game that put Telltale Games on the map, if you don't count all the successful games they did prior to it. This is 400 Days, the epilogue to the first season of The Walking Dead. I actually wrapped up playing the first season. Gosh, I was looking back, and I think it was like, 17 days ago. I guess I was taking two or three weeks off uh, from the final episode where horrible things happen, spoiler, to our good friend uh, Lee, the star of the first season of The Walking Dead. And uh, I needed to emotionally rest up for 400 days. And then I forgot 400 days existed. And then someone was kind enough to remind me in the Discord that I never got around to playing it. So here we are. We're back with 400 days. Hey, Tom, good to see you. Don't think you ever played this one. Um, I certainly haven't either. I only played uh, the first episode or so of The Walking Dead back when I first tried it out years and years ago. So I don't know much about this epilogue other than the fact that it exists. So let's jump into it and see what's waiting for us. All right, here we go. So we will use this save. Hmm. Seems to think I need to continue episode five. Let's see what happens if we could continue there. Okay, just clicks us over then to special episode 400 Days. I believe this was originally a DLC that then got converted into an episode six. I think that's why it's called in the definitive collection that Telltale released a couple of years back. But regardless, it serves as an epilogue. I think it's new characters, but don't quote me on that. We'll know soon enough. Let's click play. And thank you for joining me this morning. Okay. Got to get myself back in the Walking Dead mindset. Ready to be deeply depressed. Just see tragedy pile upon tragedy. I think it does bridge season one and two as I understand it. Maybe some of these characters return for season two, but I'm not sure. Ah, oh, I like it already. It's a very good title screen. I'm a big fan of neon in video games. A sucker for neon. Decent gas prices. <laughs> you know, I do like gas stations too. Everyone here knows my love of gas station related video games. So sign me up. All right. We have a lost and found board here. Maybe it's my imagination, but I think this already looks a little better than the previous Walking Dead installments. I don't know if they'd started upgrading or if this was built on some newer technology or just they'd gotten better at it. Oh, wait, I'm selecting. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so I get to be some of the survivors, I guess. Let's do Bonnie's story first. Okay, got one. A snake for a tongue. You're so bad at this. Would you rather have a snake for a tongue? Awful. Or lobster claws for hands? Mmm, good question. Lobster claws, 1,000%. Snake for a tongue is upsetting. Are the claws lobster size or human size? Human size? And make this easy on you. Well... I'm thinking. Think harder. And how exactly do you think harder? Lobster claws. Weirdo. Think of all the crazy stuff you could grab. All I'm saying is, good luck finding a man if you have lobster hands. Good yeah. thing I'm not looking for one, then. I mean, snake okay. tongue would be upsetting. How about... Well, never mind. 
I probably ought to stop bugging you with stupid hypotheticals. Oh, come on. You'd be a lot less fun. You've been a lot more fun lately. Feeling better? I guess I am. Well, you sure do look better. Though, so, uh, you gotta admit anything is an improvement. That came out wrong. Uh, what yeah. I mean is... I mean, uh, you were... You were, uh... You know. Thanks, jerk. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Oh, to remind me how hideous I was. Nah. Make sure you keep on keeping on. Hmm? I mean it, though. After we found you, you were still so hooked on that stuff. Well, I never thought you'd make it. Oh. You ain't out of the woods yet, I know, but... Well, you've come a long way, Bonnie. And I'm proud of you. Hey, Summer, welcome. You're a good friend, Leland. I know. Okay, you're not that great. Look, you know I ain't going nowhere, right? As long as we're together, I'll be there for you. You ain't gotta worry. You know that, right? What are you saying? Bonnie, I... Leland? Bonnie? D. Hey, honey. Uh-oh. An hour should get us a good way through this. What are you two up to? Glad you could be here, Summer. Just chatting. Chatting, huh? What about? Oh, uh, well, um, lobsters. Lobsters. Well, fishing. Figured it'd be worth a shot. For the food, you know. Leland, <laughs> you hate fishing. That ain't totally true. And how many days you gone fishing? Well, 400 days. I go fishing all the time. Thought you, didn't I? I am a catch. Oh, yeah. I know it. I got you a present. Oh, you shouldn't have. What'd you find? I'll tell you later. I don't mean to interrupt your chat with your uh, girlfriend, but uh, we got to get moving. Does she think we... <laughs> I like these characters so, already. Where'd you get the bag, D? D? D, did you hear me? Let's keep moving. I feel like I've been in a washing machine all day. I'd kill for a towel right now. Or a blow dryer. <laughs> yes, good lord, deliver us a blow dryer. <laughs> hey, D, when we get back to camp, would you let me borrow some of that nail polish? Sure, hon. You like this color? It's my favorite. And after today, I could use a new coat, you know? Same here. I feel like a drowned rat with these claws. Not to interrupt the girl talk here, but uh, D, that, that bag. Look, I found it down the road a piece, all right? Where? Down it's in the, the bag. Road. Some place off that away. Was anyone there? I don't think so. You don't think or you don't know? Those mean the same thing, Leland. Just tell us, baby. You guys sure gang up on me a lot lately. Honey, that ain't true. Tell me one time you sided with me in the last week. The last month. All right. I can't remember one especially, but I know I have. False. This is how all our fights go. Every time. Now we're standing here in the woods, soaking through, and for what? Don't you want to get to the camp before dark? I ain't the one who stopped. This ain't oh, helping no. you are the one who made me stop. Irregardless, we could just as easy carry on like this while we're walking. Oh, I have about had it with that attitude. attitude? You're gonna draw now every dead thing from miles around you keep on like in this. this. Goddamn middle of nowhere you place. That on purpose. You listen to me now. I have had it up I to here with listening to you. To blaspheme. I can't. Leland, that's enough. It's obvious you can't win this one, so why is the bottom trying? Bonnie, I appreciate you trying to help, but let me handle this, all right? Thank you, Bonnie. Finally, someone makes some damn sense around here. Oh, God, be the zombie Bonnie, apocalypse darling, with I'm, I'm sorry, we're. Darling! Arguing couple. Oh. Hey, come on. Save it. I know what side your bread is buttered on. Yours, too. D, now's not the time. Whatever issues we got, we'll hash them out later. What are you saying? You know exactly what I'm saying. Oh, no. Well, come on now, D. No reason to pick a fight. I'm sorry. I just want to get somewhere where I can change my clothes, and then you and your girlfriend can... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God, run. Come on, we gotta move. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Uh-oh, survivors? Run! Great music here. Oh, no.
We were riding through the woods, the dislocated shoulder. No good for anybody. This episode looks great, though. Like, I feel like they stepped up their game graphically here. I'm guessing they broke out a lot of new assets, things like that. Uh-oh. The old kick the zombie in the head move. We've seen that before. No hospitals, this is not gonna be any fun. D! Oh no. Wonder who the flashlighty people are. It's too damn dark out here. Where the hell are they? We're in a cornrow maze here. Oops. That's apparently not how you navigate it. Okay, not perfect. Could have gone better. In hindsight, could have gone better. If you're just joining us, welcome. Hope you're having a great Wednesday. This is the first of what I plan to be two streams today. I should be back tonight at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time with Grim Fandango. Where are you? But for now, just enjoying some Walking Dead 400 Days. Looks like it's going to be a series of vignettes featuring new characters to bridge us over to Season 2 of The Walking Dead. A game that I will probably eventually play on stream. Anything? No! I can't see a damn thing out here! Hmm. wonder why we're being hunted. Found it. I found the weapon. Oh, wait. Press and hold the left mouse button to grab. I can do this. And then left and right. New mechanic. We haven't seen this before. But we got some rebar. Rebar is always a good weapon. Rebar! <laughs> Bonnie. Whoops. Oh, Ooh, D's gonna God. remember that. Why? <laughs> Accidentally did a murder. Why? Do, do, do I love you? How bad is it? It was oh. dark. It's so dark. I, I couldn't see you. I, I didn't know it was you. How was I supposed to know it was you? Mm. There, there was no... Mm. I saw that. I saw you. <laughs> oh, no. You, you did this. Oh, God, you killed me. You, you killed hey, Kurt, me. Oh. <laughs> Just a scratch. We got this. Minor flesh wound. Trusted you. Just, just a junkie. Leland, <laughs> she, she did this to me. I, God, I'm so sorry. So, I can't. Oh, God. God. I knew you'd fuck up again. Oh, no. Take him. I, I, no, God, I'm sorry. I need him. I need you both. You bitch. And there you wanted him. Didn't. Thank you. Had the stones. D, wow. I never, I swear this has nothing to do with him. It was an accident. You fucking junkie. D, D, did you find her? Honey, I, I thought they got you back there. 
Oh no. Jesus, are you shot? Yes, shot with a gun. Me? God, what happened? Oh Jesus, oh Lord, Bonnie, what happened? Oh my God, D. Darling, what happened? Oh no. <laughs> Do we lie about this? Leah, your face, yes. Her face, Bonnie. I, I don't know. I, I found her like this. How did this happen? Why didn't you wait for me? Deserves a proper burial. We can't just leave her here in a fucking cornfield. We can't leave her like this. Help me move her. Bonnie, please. Take a moment and say your piece, but it has to be fast. I'm sorry. Keep moving. We gotta be closing in. Say hey, Jax. God, I know you hate me. this. I don't. Anything to say to her? Leyland, I'm here for you. I loved her, Bonnie. She deserved better than this. I'm sorry to do this to you, darling. I'll leave you here. Call out if you see this him. way. I know it's hard, but I need you, Leyland. This is awful. I think I saw something over here. You want to stay up here, Jax? They went this way. Move the camera. Ow, you bit me. Oh no, I tabbed out. Even worse. What the hell are you doing? If she's going to die for this thing, I for damn sure ain't leaving it behind. Run down, buddy. That was Jax, everybody. My awful cat. I'm surrounded by animals. My dog, Ben, is like a foot away. Okay, so that was Bonnie. Now Jax and Finn are fighting. Hey, El Amica. This is, uh, this is my first time with, uh, with 400 Days. And that was my first episode, so... Where do we go next? Vince, maybe? Looks like he's a uh, friendly guy. Let's let's check out Vince. Welcome to the stream. Damn it. I told you. I already told you it wasn't me, man. Man, come on. I told you like like twenty times. I don't even I don't even know you're Uh oh. There we go. Oh, fuck. You ditched the evidence. Nobody will remember that because there's no evidence to remind them. Yeah, this is my first time with 400 Days. I'm really enjoying it so far, though. Come on, man. Can't listen to this crap anymore. Two hours. Think it'll clear up soon? What am I, the traffic man? Supposed to have been at the pen an hour ago. What's your problem, man? This. Oh, relax. It's not your fault. What the hell, man? What? You know. Cut it out. Jesus, you guys. <laughs> you gonna make me? Yeah. Hey, Vince. Justin's gonna make me. It's too hot for this shit. Vince, I'm making him hot now. Oh, shit! <laughs> Come on, Vince. Hey, man. How about you open a fucking window? It's a prison bus, asshole. The windows hey, don't Justin, open. Hey, Justin, see that right, guy man. in the beat-up truck? Ain't right. I'll bet Shut he lives in that there. truck now. 
You probably got his whole house. Life savings. Shit. I bet you stole his dog. You steal his dog, man? I wasn't stealing from guys like that. Anyway, better than stealing his virginity. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you? Here we go. Seriously, I was falsely accused. How old was she, 15? Damn it, it ain't like that. You telling me there wasn't a star witness waiting around in your white van? I'm oh, shocked. No. We're all in the same boat here. What's the point of arguing? The point is, I'm not like that. My lawyer's gonna be here. Tell about you what, this. guys, I ain't afraid to say it. When he hears I'm about really this. missing my girlfriend right now. I'm, I'm guessing she's pretty pissed nerve, at you. Man. It's I worse than that, man. She won't talk to me. Mouth. Haven't heard her voice in months. Really messing with me, like for real. Just let it go, man. I want to, but you know. Be a nice I love guy her, here. man. You should call her up when we get there. You gotta face that shit. You know, you're right, man. First call I get. Danny, I know you don't realize this because you're you, uh -huh. but you probably ruined that poor girl's life, you piece of shit. Big talk from White Collar back there. How many lives you wrecked, kid? Who cares? Hotter than hell up in here. I'm getting dehydrated. Hey, how about some water back here? Shut I up thought you took the there. stand and cried your eyes out. I'm telling you again. Didn't you lose your yeah, shit and tell them you didn't know what you were up, doing? Or I'll set you I hmm? lied. Turns out I'm good at that. You lied on the stand? See, that's the kind of shit I could never do. Religious? No, nah, man. Watch a lot of cop shows? Nope. What then? It just ain't right. I gotta admit, I'd say anything to get out of doing more time. You guys are messed up. Says the <laughs> criminal. You wanna know the funny thing? I don't regret any of it. I carried my victims for years. They victims. knew what they were getting into. And now here I am, and there they are. And Wall Street assholes pulling the same scores are smiling on TV. Fuck that. How did it all work, anyway? It was like, uh... Ah, uh, here we go. A pyramid scheme. This is the correct answer. Aren't those kind of... shit? It was a really good pyramid scheme. <laughs> Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. Fuck Wall Street. <laughs> How much did you make off with, anyway? <laughs> Enough. So, like, a couple hundred K? A little over a hundred. Million. God oh, damn, man. boy. Oh, oh. You when made off with here, some cash. Me and Vince, we gotta go into business, know what I'm saying? You know, I don't actually know a thing about you, Vince. Maybe he's a priest. Yeah, Father Vincent. I bet he touched a kid. Two kids? You touch a couple kids, Vince? I helped my little brother. They send you to prison for that now? He was in trouble. <laughs> I had to help him out. I knew it was something stupid. You regret it, man? If you're saying what I think you are, I got respect for you, man. Doesn't really matter. What's done is done. I hear you. How'd they get you? Threw the gun in the trash. And? Some stupid dog knocked the can over <laughs> the next day. Oops. It found it and turned it in. You gotta be kidding me. Man, you're bad luck, Vince. <laughs> bad luck, Vince! <laughs> That's not bad. Not great. Hey, Justin. What the fuck are you gonna do about fuck it? you? Fuck me? <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker! Oh, shit! Oh, man. Christ. What the hell is going on, man? Uh -oh. knock it off! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, get in there, what man! You Sit down, goddammit! Hey, let him go, man! Damn it, Crabtree! Don't make me come back there He's now. gonna kill him, Vince! Let the guard handle it, guys. Fuck that! We gotta get in there! You do not want to get in the middle of that shit, Danny. Vince, we gotta do something. You know this ain't right. I'm not doing any more time to save some stupid ass. Where's your empathy, man? Where's your Jesus common fucking Christ. sense? Help him, Danny! What's that? Speak up, boy. I can't Fuck hear you. chain's too short! I like that. I'm warning you one He's last time, man. Damn it, you gotta boy. get in get there. Get in there and break that shit Come up, on, man. man. Come on, boy. Get back there. Okay, asshole. Let him oh, go no. in between them, goddammit. He's gonna kill that boy. Crabtree? Last what warning. Knock him out. Go, goddammit. Oh, man. What the fuck was that? Fuck. Jesus. What happened? What did you do, boy? God damn it, boy! Answer damn. me back that there! That guy's still alive! Get those cuffs off him, man! Ugh. What the hell was that? He... he made a move on me! I... I, I don't know! 
This is crazy. Nobody had to die. This is what happens when you give guns to assholes. I'm guessing he'll turn. Fuck! You gotta call someone, man! What? I'm calling this in. Don't. Don't call it in yet. Just... Just wait, okay? Just give me a damn minute. He might still be alive. Call a damn ambulance, man. I just need a minute. I need a minute to think. You ain't got a minute. Shut up, you hear me? Just shut your mouth! Okay, okay. Calm down. Take it easy. Everybody needs to calm the fuck down. Situation's bad enough as it is. He's right. Let's all just take it down a notch, okay? You really want to pull that trigger again, son? Mm. Thanks, man. What the fuck? Uh-oh. Things are getting hairy. Did you see that? I saw it. It's like some kind of zombie movie out there. Yeah. Hey, you gotta get us the hell out of here. You're not going anywhere! Fuck that. Get this bus moving. Hey, driver! I said let's go, we're man. staying right here! We're safe inside the bus! Nothing's gonna- Holy shit! Jesus! Well, he had that coming. Oh my god. Hey. Hey! You need to call someone, you hear me? We need to- Did he just bail on us? Oh, Jesus. Uh-oh. What the hell, man? Back up, back up! Fuck! 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 He can't reach us. You oh, sure about that? That ankle's gonna get Shit. What are we doing, guys? Come on! We gotta do something! Find a weapon. What kind of weapon? Where's the guard's gun? Yeah, yeah, the gun. Good thinking, Justin. Where the fuck is it? I think he fell on it. It's underneath him. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Get the gun, man. Get up, Vince. Hurry up. I'm trying. Oh, wait. <laughs> Can't hold it. There we go. It only took two tries. Do it. Oh, watch it, man. Sorry. Sorry. Man, I can't believe this shit. Can you believe this shit, man? I cannot believe no. this shit. We gotta find some way to get out of here. The chain runs through that loop that's welded to the floor. No chance of busting that. Shit. Whoa, whoa, watch it. <laughs> it ain't gonna work. It might. Well, it turns Where out are the didn't. damn keys, man. They weren't on him. Well, shit, if the keys aren't on him, then where the hell are they? He must have left them up front. Maybe we finally caught a break. Danny, hey, don't. buddy. What the fuck? God damn it, Danny. You always put your fucking foot Fuck you, man. We gotta get out of here before any more of them show up. Uh oh. Got a That's real situation here. Fire the fucking gun! I think you just pissed them off. Yeah. Yeah, save the shells. Go for a headshot next time. Pointless. Try the chains. I need those keys. How the hell are we gonna get out There's of here? There's gotta be a way. <laughs> Can't we just shoot off the chains? No way. Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is gonna happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's car? Well, what do you think's gonna happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun. We gotta do this. Oh, no. Back off. Vince, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, oh, wow. I know you're a good guy. There's no you're choice but to shoot one of them. This rapist fuck? Come on. You know I'm a good guy, man. You know I don't deserve this. I'm not supposed to be here. 
give you anything, Vince. You're gonna leave me and not this lying shithead? <laughs> it's a good point. I have a brother too, Vince. Okay, maybe I took too long. Depends on how many lines they have. <laughs> I just imagine Vince like flipping back and forth with the gun. I'll use this Fortnite gun as a prop. Just like, what do you have to say? Counterpoint. Counter argument. Repost. What do you have? Hey, Finny, I'm sorry. I didn't even get too excited. My dog, Finny. He was worried once he saw the Fortnite gun come out. Hey, Super Gamer Mark. Glad you could be here. How the hell Let's are we going to try? Gotta be away. Can't we just. Why do I have a Fortnite gun? This is a great question, Tom. My daughter is dressing up as the Skull Trooper character from Fortnite for Halloween. Uh, she doesn't play Fortnite, but she's very enamored with, uh, with the concept of Fortnite. So she's dressing up as the Skull Trooper and this lovely water gun uh, in the shape of a Fortnite pump shotgun is one of her props. And of course, because she's at school... I get to play with their toys. It's really one of the <laughs> undersold benefits of being a parent. <laughs> it's getting to play with your kids' toys while they're at school. Off the chains? No way. Wouldn't cut through. What about the cuff? If we shoot one of those off, the chain will slip right out. Are you fucking insane? What do you think is going to happen if you fire a shotgun that close to someone's house? Well, what do you think is going to happen if we don't get the fuck out of here? Vince, give me the gun. We got to do this. Back off. Okay. I think we're gonna shoot Danny. Vince, what the fuck? This is his idea. I'm sorry, man. Fuck you. Do it. Hurry. Justin's just gonna slow you. Parental ah! betrayal. Do it again. Do it again. Ah! All right. Anything someone tells me to do, I'll do. Come on, let's go. Nailed it. All right, sorry about that. This was a formative event in my life that I'm sure we'll revisit in season two of The Walking Dead. All right, well, we completed that one. So far, so good. If you're just joining us, welcome to the epilogue for season one of The Walking Dead. We're playing 400 Days. It's a series of vignettes with, uh, with a new group of characters. So far, they feel like little lost flashbacks. Uh, okay, you know, like when uh, when the gang on the show Lost would be on the island and they would flash back to some formative moment in their life. Only we're seeing how these characters are dealing with the challenges of the zombie apocalypse. At least Vince is rich now, theoretically. Do we believe that uh, they can follow through on that? Forty-one days in. God, this is so fucked! Why the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Who gives a shit? Just... Uh-oh. Hurry up, Eddie! Here, man. Shoot! Dude, take this thing. Get him, man. I like that we could be a zombie apocalypse hipster now. God, this is so fucked up. I didn't mean for this to get this fucking fucked up. Fuck! Holy shit, man. Did you get him? Are they back there? Wyatt? Dude, are they there or not? Come on. Wyatt, talk words at me, man! <laughs> Maybe they crashed? I didn't hear a crash. Did you hear a crash? No, like these guys so far. Did... Here, here, I'll turn off. Ooh, it's like werewolf weather. It would be great if they introduced werewolves in this episode. Feel that look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole. I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. 
Crashing into a cow ain't gonna help anything, Oh, man. shit! I should watch out for cows! Cows! Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> When's the last time you saw a cow, dude? Okay, bad example, but you could still hit something, man. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please? This road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He's fucking gorked. I don't gorked. want that guy in my life, Wyatt. He's gorked. God, how did that go so wrong? He's gorked. Is that some kind of dig at me? No, man. I'm just saying. It's like, I just... Why didn't they say anything? The guy's taking his shit over there. That's all they had to say. I'm sure it was Oh, accident. no. I'm not. I wish I was, but... He shot someone while they were pooping? That's Ow. the worst way to go. <laughs> Look. Gorked. Wyatt, all I know is those guys had me all jacked up like I was on speed or something. I was just on edge, you know? Then I was like watching that guy's brains come out of the back of his head. I'm sorry, man. I... Don't sweat it. Everyone gets gorked. Eddie appreciates that. Eddie didn't mean to kill a man while he was doing number two. It's about time. I will punch your eyes. <laughs> See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. What? You think we're in the clear? Not till we get out of this fog. Was that a pun? No. When did you start making puns? I said no, idiot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Please never talk again. See if there's still any sticky in the glove box. What do you say? I don't see anything. Dude, it's in there. Look harder. I don't see it. What I do see is that ammo that you lost last week. Oh my god, really? But is there any weed? <laughs> you said there's weed you in know, my gun. Oh, wait, no. This girl, right? Abigail. Do you remember her? And she told me that when she was five, I think. Her thank loading the gun is probably more important right this second. Thanks. Okay. Weird, but okay. I'm glad we know where Eddie's at. Vis a vis with Gentalia. Glad he shared that with us. Holy shit, dude. Oh no. Holy shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Wyatt, come on, man. Say something. Was that a dude or not? What the, the fucking fog? This night is so fucked, man. It didn't look human. Alive, whatever. Really? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Look me in the eyes and say that. Car's totally gorked. You heard me, Eddie. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll like tell us one <laughs> way or the other. This does have big burst car vibes. But I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. <laughs> Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? We have a situation developing here. Finn, come here. Give me that. What do you have? Oh, no. My dog just destroyed a baseball. Like, there's just, uh, just a pile of baseball pieces. Can I have it? Come here. I want to show everybody on stream your handiwork and shame you publicly. Okay, get ready. The remains of a baseball that my dog has destroyed. I think this baseball probably was part of uh, a package that my parents brought the last time they came to visit. This was one of my Little League baseballs circa probably... 
we'll say 1985, 86. So now it's a precious memory for Finn of that one time that he destroyed a baseball. There is behind me some leather, some string, <laughs> all the other great parts that you'd expect to find in a baseball. What a good dog. <laughs> It was like a string ball now. Yep. There used to be leather around that bad boy, and it's sitting just a few feet away from me, it turns out. What a monster. What a bad boy. You think that blood on the windshield is fresh? Or Does rotten? that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. What's that way out in the road? Is that the mirror from the car? I can't tell from here. Man, I'm really not seeing it's anything. It's part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. There's a dead guy shirt. Stop messing around. We need to know what's going on, okay? That's not going to help. Okay, okay. Jeez. Ben is a good dog. Look. I don't mind. It was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't fuck with Tiny Carlos, sure. Jesus. What? So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. What about the guys in the truck? Man, fuck those guys. If that guy back there is alive, we have to help him, Wyatt. There ain't a lot of live dudes left these days. <laughs> what if this guy is like the guys in the truck? He ain't gonna be much of a threat after we bounced him off the hood. Yeah, we gorked him pretty good. Come on, man. <laughs> when did he become such a saint? We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. Both of us? I mean, I don't know. Me? I hit the fucking guy. One of us should stay here, though, in case. Hmm. I'm feeling I'll have to go. Okay. Well. Shit. Okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Okay, that's fair. I want to see if they actually built rock, paper, scissors into this game. Fine. Okay, cool. Good. This is good. We need to hurry up. You ready? Man, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. Dude, two seconds, it's over. All right, two out of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. Oh, no. Man. Okay. All right. One, two, three, go. Fuck! What are the chances of that? Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Shit. Why is he actually Stupid hitting rock. the scissors? Right, dude. That's how you play. This is it. This is it. Shit. It's all come One, down to this. Two, three, go. Shit, man. <laughs> Insane. Okay. Again. One, two. Oh, that'd be three, good, go. Super Gamer Mark. I hope the zombie gets them too balls. while they're playing. Balls, balls, balls! Okay. You and your damn rock. <laughs> he acts like he doesn't have it's access like to me. the rock. He can play that too. Shit. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Eddie. Hurry up, man. Dude, leave me the fuck alone, all right? This is my speed. Eddie! You see something? You should get back in the car. No fucking way, man. What if it was you? Eddie! What's happening? Do you see anything out there? I can't see a goddamn thing. Uh-oh. Here, in case we need to get out of here. That was a nice throw. Yeah, bye, Eddie. Way to go, idiot. Hey, Wyatt. I ate paint when I was a kid. Die. Shit, where the hell did they go? <laughs> it's the smallest hoopty in the world. Bet Eddie's upset about that. He loves this car. These guys have an interesting yeah, vibe. I can see better with that guy on.
There you are, you piece of shits. Why didn't he just leave them the ignition? Uh-oh. Shit! Ah! Oh, no. Oh, you, 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 Oh, it's a struggle. Oh, I guess I have to intervene. That's a pretty good move. Let's go! Dodge the bullets. You left Eddie behind? I thought I had to leave Eddie behind. Do I have another choice? Abandoner. I just unlocked a Steam achievement called Abandoner. Oh, he got gorked hard. He got gorked right in the face. Oh, man. This is keen out of control. Let's see what Shell's up to. It's like a happy birthday story. I'm sure nothing can go horribly, horribly wrong. And you remember this till he's dead in like three or four minutes. Hey, it's Red's Diner. Wait. Two hundred and thirty six days in. Hey, Shell. Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? So dark. Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? Lee never taught Clem music appreciation. I don't know. I know it's changed me, well, all of us, but at this age, for her, I don't know. Hey, young guy, guy start off right, Matali. Welcome. Shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen, thanks, Stephanie. Thanks, Becca. That was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Maybe yeah. we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Yes, all these people oh, are thanks doomed. thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Oh, man. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You took I had the fresh soup for breakfast. Time. I'll look over the guns. Uh-uh. I don't want you messing with those unless we're in danger, okay? I'll take care of those later. Fine. Shell, when you get a <laughs> oh, soup, no, Becca. me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. They have watchdogs? They've got everything. This is the best survivor scenario I've seen. These knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. They have talent shows, a diner, a Sodar poster. Watchdogs? How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. What do you think she's writing down on that clipboard? <laughs> do you think it's just like, uh-huh, okay, four flashlights. That's uh, one, two, three, four. Flashlight condition near mint. <laughs> Roman, 
in a band. Yeah, it's just slowly making the same ramblings. She's probably just trying Sodar, Sodar, Sodar over and over again. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. <laughs> I mean, she's been doing it for like a minute or two now. She's bound to have some really good notes in there. Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. All right. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. I take it back. This maybe seems like the biggest bunch of nerds I've ever seen in a zombie apocalypse. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Like if you're in the zombie apocalypse and you're wondering if your fire extinguisher needs to be recharged, you don't have your uh, your head in the game. Ooh, look at soda machine. You know I like to look at soda machines. This is uh, this is good stuff so far. Um, canonically, the video game soda machine project does not record this kind of fountain drink machine but we'll give it a chance this hasn't worked in a long time yeah historically i've only done insert money or some other equivalent shoots out drink smells good mm, she really likes to stir the pot glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out Okay, let's see what's going on in the back. I hope their watchdogs are not zombies. Hope they have not chained up a bunch of zombies. Starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. I feel like that's a common move in this genre. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. <gasps> oh, you scared yep. me. He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. It's not an animal, Roman. Well, it's not human either. Not anymore. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. It's better than the alternative. I'd rather she have a shorter, happy experience in this world than one full of fear and death and horror. As long yeah. as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. I like that attitude. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Who isn't looking forward to that soup? Hello. Okay. Doing great. Just meeting walkers, making friends. Hello, lady. Ugh. She doesn't look too zombified. That might just be a person. I love that they didn't record an extra sound effect. Okay, last one. Last one. Okay, what do I need to be doing out here? Hmm. Hello. Hey, take care, Summer. Glad you drop in. Thank you for recommending that play this one. I'm enjoying it. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you on the VOD. Well, you know, kind of. Thanks for dropping in, though. Oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again. Whoa, what's your problem? I do this all the time. 
You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. Mm. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but... After a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Yeah, Clive. Becca. Get served. Shell, Becca, something's going on outside. What is it? I don't know, something bad. We gotta find Roman. Okay. Roman's probably just out here with his Come band. Here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. This month. It's so okay to be there. Jesus. Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Oh, no. Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know. And I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. the second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to Gotta leave. catch them all. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. We'll send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. Boyd's right. We should just let him go. Why? Look at the poor bastard. We've all done the same thing trying to survive. We don't have to be responsible for him, but we can give him some food and let him take his own it's chances. It's not about his chances. It's about ours. <laughs> well, what's to stop him from coming back and armed next time? We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boyd, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. <laughs> he gonna... can't even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. Yeah, that's right. Judging him based on race? Of course not. But come on. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree, and then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason <laughs> the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. Oh, hey, that was our boat here. that we stole I first. Agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Fuck you, Roman. Shell, come on. Roman's right. Uh -oh. We need to protect ourselves first. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. Yeah. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. Preemptive self-defense. we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what do Give him got? some food, when, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith, and get him out of here. 
I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today, and if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. We did it. We saved a life. Now you can go out and get eaten by zombies instead. And we upset Roman, and I'm pretty okay with that. Roman seems like a real jork. Not to be confused with a real gork. Nope. Do you have any sevens? Yep. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. Uh -oh. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. So I messed up. The loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Don't let anyone else know about that spot. Just in case. In case of what? In case something happens and we need to get out of here in a hurry. We've got to always be prepared. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. We can talk here. No. Can we? Just finish up here and come find me. And don't take too long. Okay. What was that all about? Probably nothing. Don't worry about it. He said it was important. Yeah, well, these days everything's important to Roman. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Okay, let's see what Roman's up to. Do, do, do. Walking around, looking at a planter. How come no one's watering these? a do art command Joyce do you know what's going on I don't know if I should say anything please oh. what is it they caught Stephanie stealing and then trying to escape oh my god what are they gonna do I don't know what can we do I'll go talk to Roman we'll figure it out All right. Let's see if we can be peacemaker here. Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted We're to get outside to these walls this. for a while. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel, I don't know, oppressive. We've made it safe. And she was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yes. Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us 100%. But she's one of us. Th yeah. This is different. No, she's not. 
not anymore. When she tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo, she knew that could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, oh, what do no. I do, Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Not great. Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? What I'm gonna say is gonna be hard to hear. We're on level with what her. What is it? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of ammo and medicine and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? She's just scared. Yeah, we'll defend she made her. a mistake. That'll be our last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend. Was my friend. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Becca's very Guns cold, right? There. In the drawer. That's gun closet. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? Yeah. We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Oh, no. Well, we tried. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Man. You know, Mark, I worry a lot about gun safety in The Walking Dead also, so I'm right there with you. I think we have to do it. We can't send our little sister to go kill somebody, can we? No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it, it really does. does suck. If you're no. just joining us, by the way, welcome. Time. Driving away. I'm not going to do it. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down. Becca probably safe. will remember this. Shell, hey! Shell, he's safe. Don't stay on it. I think moves fast for a camper. What the fuck? God damn it. See the turning radius on that thing? That wasn't the fun birthday story I was hoping for. Okay. The only character left is Russell. Let's see what Russell's tale looks like. I bet it's going to be tragic, but hey, we never know. Maybe this will be the happy tale of the zombie apocalypse. Hey, Jax, I wish you wouldn't chew on my elbow. You're a bad kitty. It's really distracting. Okay, we're 184 days in. Walking down the long and lonesome road. Shouldn't have maybe taken so many cans. I got like 60 miles left, I think. Ain't shit. I like this guy's can do attitude. Ugh. 63 miles to go. I like the color palette here. This looks really nice. You can see that Telltale was already introducing higher quality graphics in this epilogue. I don't know if there was extra budget allotted to hey, it or you it's just up? the benefits of working on Walking Dead 2 at the time. Good. But this looks fantastic. I 
should probably hurry. Shit, shit, shit. Uh-oh. Oh, I tabbed out. It's even worse. Oh, yuck. Fucking gross, man. Oh, is that Carly? Oh, no. I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. I don't want no trouble. The Please. car that was chasing us in the other episode? Alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't. What's your name? That's swipe. Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Oh wow, he's a racist, Because huh? you steal from me and I'll get your throat out. I don't care who you run around with, you understand? Leave me alone. Russell. Russell. Come on, man. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise and I'm bored. Come on. Scoot. Ain't gonna wait forever. You take me to Statesboro? I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she likes to party? Just get in, we'll get there. Or somewhere. <laughs> party <laughs> grandma! Alright, Russ. <laughs> we got this. This will be great, Russell. This will work out well. That's the absolute worst that could happen. Name's Nate, by the way. Thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Yeah. Here you go. I didn't realize how cool this guy was. I don't want that shit. The shit? You don't know what you're talking about. I damn near died procuring this. I got half a mind to make you try it. You can't make me do anything. <laughs> okay, tough guy. We both know that ain't true, but okay. It'll do you some fucking good. You wanna tell me about where you come from at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Ugh. Maybe drop you off, do a double back. This guy's the worst. Can we just drive? We? Oui. You want to sit on my lap? I just don't want to talk. You're a tough little nut, Russ. <laughs> what a weird vibe. Look, man, I'm sorry if I freaked you out at first. We all got our way of coping with shit, right? I guess I can come across a bit. Uh-oh. I've got a cat messing around with my camera now. Why are you so awful? Now you're interfering with my broadcast, and that's the one unforgivable thing that a cat can do. There's a toggo back here, too. Yeah, we've got a menagerie <laughs> going on here. Let's see. We've got Finn coming up. Hey, Finn, come up here. Say hello to everybody. You want to stand up? Oh, too challenging. Come here. Nope, cat bothering you. Nope, Finn wanna, won't cooperate. But yeah, we've got everything going wrong here. We've got a camera that's out of whack now. We've got animals fighting over getting access to interrupting my stream who knows if this is going to be able to last for the next 15 minutes or so to finish out this game let's try to get back though Whew. all right everything's out of control i guess there you go relax we're gonna have some fun why don't you tell me where you were before you got here fine yeah, people like him probably would survive, I didn't sadly. Have family there or nothing. They were all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. 
Huh? The teacher and his wife. Leader was this guy, Steve. Go well, back Steve. to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. We found survivors. It was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take their stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. Good was lord. The give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. You're fucking rude, man. Oh, you're Miss Manners, that it? Let's try again. Alright, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ugh, slamming before she was rotten, right? Oh no! Here, give no, it no, 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 no! Like a nine, oh. right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Oh hell! If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Tell me, Russ. Jesus, Russ, calm down. Damn it. Oh man. Would you load that? Bullets in the glove there. I want to shoot this guy. Can I do that? Is that an option for me? Hey, we're back here. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. I. Right. Oh shit! Go! Get out! Uh oh. Mm. Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! You got bullets this time? Don't think about it. Just run! I'll <laughs> keep his fucking head down! Yeah, Adama, I got you. Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. I shouldn't have come with you. Well, it's too fucking late now. <laughs> Relax, Russell. Come on, kid. Look at me. Russell, get your shit together. There is no getting out of this right now, okay? Okay. Now help me out here. First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Oops. Down! Found him. See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. All right. Yeah. That's the spirit. I just drive Let's away. Push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing. Or Q. Shit! Push! Uh, uh, End of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Mm, this mechanic. This time, I'm not fucking around. We won't make it. No way. Yes, we will. We cover each other. Toss the gun back and forth. <laughs> if we get to that car, <laughs> That's the worst plan I've ever heard. Here. We're gonna toss the gun back and forth. I'm not fucking around. You 
cover me, then I'll cover you. If you want to go first, that's fine too. We'll cover each other. Bye. I'll take the guy back and you forth. Go first. Just shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. Here's Throw another gun, gun safety notice. Just... Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Damn it, Russ! What's the goddamn hold? Oh, come on! Are you serious? All right, Russ, you got me with my balls out. That's good. Good one, kid. This is your moment, Russell. Big Russ! Oh, come on, Russell. Cut the shit. Give me that. Oh, no. Now let's do this. We're just back to the plan now. It's, it's like, well, you got me. I guess we have to be friends still. <laughs> One failed murder attempt, and we're back to buddies. Oh, wait. Am I in control? Yes, I am. I'm safety. All right. I'm good. Pass the gun to me. We get over there and we should be good. Go. Throw me the gun. You're crazy, man. Whatever. We got more work to do. Yeah, this is... we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. This is the endless parade of misery we're used to, Metali. This is why it took me 17 days to come back to it. Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Did your grandma party, Russ? Come on. He was creepy and unstable. They start a gunfight, yeah. Keep your head down. They could have driven on, you're absolutely right. We picked this fight. All right. We're gonna be fucking quiet. We're gonna sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. Sick. Yeah, no. This, uh, this should be going great. I, I have a feeling this is gonna work out wonderfully for our team here now that we've picked a fight we're teamed up with a pervy guy who may also be a psycho i see him check through the window see if there's anyone else he came up with a plan that involved throwing a gun back and forth i think i saw a guy Shit. Grab him. I'll cover you. Do I sneak up? Just jump out and grab him. Your call. <laughs> jump out and grab him. Press and hold the left mouse button and move. Push the mouse forward. Oh no, I didn't read all the instructions. <laughs> Oh no. Walt! Oh! Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. Oh no. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food. You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. Shut up. We've never been here, sir. Then who shot my wife? Wasn't us. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please just get the fuck out of here. Please leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Hey, it's a callback. I'm done. That's it, man. I don't know you, and I don't want to. Can't you take a fucking joke? Fuck your jokes. I'm sorry. I'm out. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. You stood up to Nate and walked away. 
Nate was the literal worst. Not good. But well, we tried to kill Nate and it didn't work. Nate went on to kill those poor people. Wow. 400 days in. We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Oh, they're going to be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm going to try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Of course. Hmm. Interesting. I guess that's our setup for season two. Maybe it's not over. Holy shit. Good job. Everything okay? So far, so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Ooh, look at the pretty sky. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't shit! Bonnie and Don't Vince. fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I found your note. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. What's the twist? God, this <laughs> hey, shout out my good boy. to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because she says it's true doesn't mean it is. You should know about that. Hey, what I told Leland... Cool it. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought... You know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Wait, you find survivors? I'm back, Clam. Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Wyatt. Look, we need people. Plain and simple. Or Eddie. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. I have a Roman's terrible feeling a about this too. It's following her, that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, raccoons. then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? You clearly outnumber me. Uh -huh. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. What's Look, the catch, I know though? you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Hmm, how's this going to play out? Bonnie's in. Yeah, I'm going. Vince is in. 
Yeah, I have to. Wyatt, the combat clam is down. That's Shell. And her sister Becca. Um, I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long. Russell's the long so holdout. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. It's a safe place for everyone. Criminal activity isn't tolerated within our walls, mm. period. You don't have to worry about bandits or walkers or anyone else. We look out for each other. Is that clear? Yeah, clear. I don't know. I don't really believe in safe places. Not anymore. Let me make you an hard. offer you can this refuse. This is your only chance. I'm not going to be out this way again for a long time. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. Welcome to season two. What do you want to do two. with these? Burn them. Burn them. Yeah, burn them. This I is knew a it. Good thing. I know it is. I think you'd want to keep some of those very few photos you have of yourself. It's odd that they were carrying photos. Like, how did Vince get a photo of himself when he was on a prison bus? How do we know this will work out? You don't. Dramatic ending. Find out in season two. All right, here we go. Let's see how we did. I think we finished 400 days. Whose foot did you shoot, shoot off? You had 30% shot Danny's foot off. Interesting. Stay or go? Did you stay in the car or get out? You and 50% of players stayed in the car. Did you leave Nate or stay with him? 75% of players left Nate. Nate bothered everyone. That's good to know. Did you lie to Leland? 75% of players lied after we <laughs> knocked his wife's face in with some rebar. And did you <laughs> leave in the RV or kill Stephanie? You and 75% of players left in the RV. So I had uh, one outlier. Most people shot... Uh, Shot Justin's foot off, um, but uh, but otherwise I'm right in there in the sweet spot. Well, those percentages are very fishy. It's odd they would hit right at seventy five. I wonder if Telltale's actually taking these numbers in now that they no longer exist as a company. All right. So in my version, Russell did not come along. Interesting. So I guess Russell won't be there when I play Season 2 someday. Well, we did it. We made it through The Walking Dead 400 days. The epilogue to Season 1 of The Walking Dead. And uh, it was pretty good. I enjoyed the vignette-style storytelling. Like, honestly, uh, I think that works sort of well. Uh, you know, having several smaller stories that intersect. And as I understand it, this sets us up for Season 2. I'm guessing... Most, if not all, of these characters are back for season two, so we'll get to meet them. I don't quite know when I'm going to get around to playing season two. It'll probably be sometime in the uh, in the next couple of months, I think. I've got some other things on tap before I want to leap into that. Like, for instance, tonight at 9.30 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be playing Grim Fandango. Goodness, my brain just went completely blank there for a minute. Retro Adventure Wednesday is here, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. It's Grim Fandango. I've gotten past the bugged out part that I encountered last time around. Should be able to actually finish the game now, or at least continue to make progress on the game. I don't, can't imagine we'll finish it tonight. But uh, then on Friday, I think we'll be playing Dead Space Extraction for the Wii. I had so much fun with the survival horror of Resident Evil Village. I figured, why not do some outer space survival horror with a fun light gun shooter? But for now, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for me. Um, what I will do before we call it quits, as always, let's see if there's someone we can raid. Ah, let's see here. Board Gaming Mama is playing Nancy Drew, Legend of the Crystal Skull. Mr. TL, ooh, but I think this time around, 
let's raid Mr. TL Wolf, um, who's playing Dagger of Amon Ra, one of my favorite games ever. I can't resist uh, I can't resist chasing after the Dagger of Amon Ra. So let's uh, let's jump in there. I'll start the raid uh, and hope to see you again later for Grim Pandango. Thanks for watching along this morning. I enjoyed getting a little bit of uh, Walking Dead back in there. It's great seeing y'all too. Take care, everyone, and uh, see you on the other side of the raid.